All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. Now, typically I don't do reaction videos. The only time I really do them is when there's like a gaming event and I react to the entire event. But if this is something that y'all like and something you want me to do more often, then just let me know in the comments section or on Twitter, whenever there's like a game trailer that comes out or anything that comes out, let me know if you want me to do, you know, an actual uh, reaction like this to it. And maybe I will, maybe it's something I'll do more often. But being that Resident Evil 4 is one of my favorite games of all time, and some recent gameplay just came out this week. Of course, you know I had to react to it. It's about 12 minutes long, I think. And I, for some reason, I couldn't find like the official outlet, outlet or publication source for these gameplay. It's like a bunch of random channels uploaded it, uploaded it, but I didn't see it from like Capcom or or any source like that. But anyway, we're gonna react to it. Y'all know I'm hyped. Let's go. Okay, this looks to be in the caves. Maybe after the lake? I like the... I, I think I like the gun sound. I think in the earlier gameplay, we saw, like, we heard the gun sounds and they sounded kind of weak. Um, they seem to have more recoil also. Okay, so they put icons. Icons now appear over stunned enemies' heads. It looked like. So now you know exactly when you can um when you can run up and melee them. Because before there wasn't any icon, you could just tell they were in a stunned state. And right now he is getting lit up. So right now I don't know if this like developer is I assume this is a, this is a developer playing. I'm not sure if, if like he's playing badly or sometimes they play like this on purpose to demonstrate certain things in the gameplay. It could be either one. I'm not sure. Yep, that's the classic combo. Shoot him in, shoot him in the head, shoot him in the knee, shoot him in the weak spot. Run up in melee. That's how you, you know, do more damage and, and also save, uh, save ammo. Oh, he just parried the torch. Was that was that a torch? He parried. Yeah, it looked like it. I'm like, what can't you parry in this game? I wonder if there's a limitation because we've seen him parry the chainsaw. He just parried like a torch throw. Okay, this is farther in the castle. Oh, this is with the, I think, I think his name is the Garador or the Claw, hence, hence the Claws. Um, but I think his official name was the Garador. And yeah, his weakness is on his back. You can either shoot that or you can melee that, yep. And he's blind. Um, he's completely blind, so he go just goes by your footsteps and, and then charges you. Oh, he just parried that too? Oh, and there was there was a chance to evade also. It's probably it's probably just a duck. Oh, he is getting like lit up right now. Damn it. And I think the bell was in the room, right? You had to use the bell to like distract him. Um, because you know, he goes all he goes. He's he's kind of like a clicker, honestly. Um a clicker with very large claws. But he was the clicker before the clicker, obviously. A lot of these horror games obviously take, you know, um, take a lot of influence from the earlier games in, in terms of, like, concepts of enemies and stuff like that. Like, a lot of these games, they have, like, a regenerator. Um, like, Dead Space has a regenerator. You know, they have uh, enemies that are blind but hear you. That's kind of like in every horror game, you know, archetype of enemies. So we got the... I'm going to rewind a little bit because we got the merchant here, my man, the merchant. But you cut through the crowd with that right there. I don't like his voice. This is clearly not the original voice actor. I have no idea who the original voice actor is. That's something I might have to look up. But I, I guess it's it's too much to assume that it would be the same voice actor. I don't even know if that guy is still alive. He might not be, um, <clears throat> you know, because I assume he was like an older person when the original game came out, so who the hell knows how old he is now? Probably pretty old, I assume. Uh, so yeah, this is the merchant screen. You got your typical buy, tune up, which is upgrade. Uh, they should just call that upgrade. Um, sell, trade. Was the trade option? Trade, is that a new tab? I don't remember trade being there. 
And even though I've beaten Resident Evil 4 so many damn times, like I still be forgetting certain things from some of my favorite games. I know it's crazy. I got bad memory like that. But I don't remember trade being there unless I'm bugging. And now you can um you can upgrade your knife now. That's wasn't something you could obviously do before and the durability. Okay? Um and you got to repair it. It seems over uh now. Okay. So that's a little bit more maintenance. And he's got the pistol, the shotgun, the SMG. The, the, is that the first sniper rifle? Looks like it might be. Um, got a whole lot of money. And yeah. Yeah, pretty familiar. Um, the SMG in the game, I typically don't use the first SMG that, they, that, that you come across. Yeah, the TMP. I I never use that. It's 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 decent for crowd control, but honestly, I honestly it, it's something that I skip out on. It's you know I like to be very wise and with with what I spend my money on in these games, and you don't you obviously don't need all the weapons. You know it, it just depends on your style of play and how you want to play. You don't need to actually use all the weapons. It's unnecessary. So he's got Ashley with him now. Uh, this is the part uh, at the castle where there's the cannon and you got to blow open the door. And you got the cultists. Oh, no. Oh, the game is beautiful, by the way. Um, I will say, so I, I like that the guns have a more, I guess, vertical recoil. And I don't know, it's funny, like, Leon's movement is kind of, it, it's like he's, when he runs, it, it's, it's, it looks kind of funny because it seems like he's running in slow motion still, though. Okay. These things are weak against flashbangs, or they were in the original game. Was that a parry? I think. See, the parry makes a specific sound, but that seems like it, a prompt came up on the screen. So I'm not sure if that was like a block or a parry. Is there is there just parry, or is there also a block? You can you can one hit kill those things with flashbangs, um, but using a flashbang on one, I typically don't didn't like to do that. Okay, so he just parried that that crossbow arrow, um, and you you saw the on the bottom right, Let's go. next to the knife icon, you actually saw. I think the L1 button popped up there also. So it, it it lets you know like I think it that's letting you know the timing, of the parry, and he just threw a flashbang I think. Yeah, that was a flashbang. So he's completely stunned. Does the knife wear down anytime you use it? Or is that or is it only on parries? Damn, it's locked. Looks like we'll have to get creative. And they said they brought back the, the Leon one-liners too, the cheesy one-liners, which made the game great. And of course they try to take El the Ellie. Holy shit, wrong game. Um Ashley. They try to take Ashley away. So you still got to stop them from doing that. Uh, so Ashley has a down state now. Says inca incapacitated. Before she didn't really have a down state. It was just she's either she had a health bar. If she was alive or dead. So that's something different. I think he's about to probably get to use that cannon. That didn't seem to be a parry. That seemed to be an actual, like, attack. 
Because it didn't seem like he waited for an attack. That seemed like just a just a knife attack, it seemed. Not quite, not 100% sure, but that's what it looked like. It looked like a knife attack instead of a parry. Maybe you could do both. Oh, he's about to blow this guy in half. Yeah. Okay, so this is Salazar. See, I, I don't like how they changed Salazar's look. He looks like somebody's grandmother now. He looks like he looks like a Karen. This looks like this looks like Karen Salazar. Literally. This don't look like Ramon Salazar. This looks like Karen Salazar now. He 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 kinda he, yeah, he kinda look like if 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 they made Ramon into somebody's grandmother and she also had like this thing for for looking for looking like Washington or something like that. Kinda looks like she's trying to look like George Washington with this I guess wig. It's not actually a wig, but it looks like a wig. Yeah, I don't like this new uh, Salazar look. I prefer his look before, where he actually looked like a like a old child. Now, just looks like a actual old person. Who the hell? Old grandmother. Oh please, call me Ramon. Ramon. That chance, Ramon. The girl's just fine with me. How unfortunate. Do make sure our guest feels at home. Okay, we got the enemies with the scythe, the shields, the helmets. We gotta shoot them dudes in the knee. Okay. Oh, that was the mine? Okay, yeah, that was the mine shooter. Oh, that door tore. Oh, that. That scythe tore you back up. Oh, the suplex is back. The suplex is back. Okay, the parry. That was great timing. Oh, that is that's so beautiful. I'm so glad they brought back the Leon suplex. That was gorgeous. Krauser. So this fight, this is an epic fight, but it was a QTE fight. There are still some QTEs in the game, but they made this an actual knife fight now, it seems. And I hope they give more exposition and background on Krauser, because that's this is one character that I that I think is really cool, but I know virtually almost nothing about, because he was only in one game. And one of the Resident Evil games, according to what I know, and, and his role was very limited. So, so the people who didn't play that game, and I don't even remember what that game was that he was in. When you get to this part in Resident Evil, you know that him and Leon have history, but deep history. But you're like, who the hell is this guy? So I'm, I'm hoping maybe they give you a little bit more. Without having to play, you know, whatever that previous game was that Krauser was in. So that was pretty much, this is now like a little bit of the, like the sizzle reel at the end. But that gameplay looked great. I can't wait for this, man. It's looking great. Oh, the elevator part. Yeah. Oh, after you parry, you it stuns them. You can melee right there. Yeah. I, did he duck under that? Cause I hated them, them damn. After you shoot their heads off, and then like the plaga, the plaga infection with you know the razor heads. Okay, we got the two gigantes. Yeah. Lu but Lewis, this is a little bit of a spoiler. But if spoiler, skip the next ten seconds. Um, if you haven't played the game, Lewis is supposed to die pretty early in the game. Um, well, no, 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 no. It's not midway through the game in the castle so technically he shouldn't be at that part he wasn't at that part before there's some scenes where i'm like lewis should be dead at that part if i have my 
you know, chrono my chronicles lined up, the, chron the you know, the chronology of the of the game lined up. And I also think Lewis has a very I don't know. He's he's I'm comparing a lot of stuff to the original, but you know, the character looks and the way they sound. If that's Lewis in that cart, yeah, he was definitely not at that part. Yeah, that that they changed so they changed in some parts of the story clearly. Ada and yeah. Oh, it's looking beautiful. Looking great. It has to be different. Beautiful trailer. Um beautiful gameplay. It's looking great. I love it. Can't wait. I will be live streaming this game when it comes out. Uh one of my most anticipated games of the year. Y'all know I am one of the biggest Resident Evil 4 fanatics. Just, just great. Just great. I love it. Um, yeah, so let me know what y'all think about that trailer. And um, if y'all want me to do more of these, definitely let me know in the comment section. All right. Follow me on Twitter. Hit the notification bell. And uh, I will catch y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.